What's up everyone? DSP here. And after a long week of my parents visiting from the state of Connecticut and coming to the state of Washington, we have completed many different home improvement efforts. I'd like to do a short video here showing some of these to you. First of all, this is Leanna's new office. And when I say new, I mean, holy crap, does this place look different now that it is blue. I mean, it used to be this ugly, ugly shade of orange. And we had a sectional uh, piece of our couch downstairs that didn't fit in our living room that always kind of stayed in the corner of her office that took up way too much room. Now it looks so much better and different. She's got her desk set up nicely. She hasn't fully set everything up yet. She's actually working on setting up the office, but we still have the fan to get the nasty new paint smell out of here. It's probably still gonna be here for like a week and we're gonna have to keep running it. But it is nice for what it is, right? These, these new things she has here to store all of her gaming stuff and also her business stuff, which is excellent. She's got some nice succulent plants that my parents actually got for her to put into the office. And uh, you know, it's a nice setup overall. She's even got her brand new PC, which we had to buy right before my parents arrived because her old PC died and she needs it for her business. So had to get her one. And uh, you know, she also does gameplay and stuff for her YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, this is the new office, night and day from what it used to look like. And now the sectional that we used to have in here, we now can fit in the nook because if you were not aware, last year I spent a lot of time trying to sell my models and or statues, which are part of my collection from back when I lived in Connecticut and I was a bachelor, okay? As you can see, there they are. There's still many of them in the back of the storage nook here. But I sold, I'd probably say at least a third of them last year, which gave a lot of room. And so there's the sectional. We were able to put it in here with a lot of old outdated stuff we don't need. We actually found out we can dump these chairs, not dump, but we can donate these chairs or give them away to certain areas. And we may do that soon to make even more room. Because ideally what we'd like to do is use this nook for something and we can't. It's just all storage from shit that from when we moved and, you know, statues I haven't yet sold. So yeah, so this, the, that's in there now, so her office looks way better now. So that's just one of the many improvements. Okay, another major improvement that we made is our garage. And as you can see, Leanna is currently at work, so the car is not here. But it was always this right-hand side of the garage that was an absolute nightmare, all right? When we moved here, we had all these storage bins for moving all of our stuff here, and they were just sitting here in stacks to this high blocking this whole area. In addition, tons of shit was left behind by the previous owners, tools, they used to do car work and stuff in here. It was an absolute nightmare. This garage was unworkable, there was shit everywhere. So my dad and I went through here one day, we took a whole day, and we basically threw out a ton of shit from the previous owners. We took the two of us to do it on a ladder, but we got all of the storage bins up in this upper level of storage. So now I can actually use stuff. And it's amazing because now we've got this workbench, right? This now is somewhere where Leanna can do some stuff with her soap making. We actually got some soap making ingredients and stuff up here. Down here, we've got her gardening stuff now, all kind of set up in these drawers, or these uh, drawer, your drawer and, and your cabinet. I've actually finally, for the first time ever, I've got somewhere to put tools and stuff for the house. So I can actually do my own kind of thing. Look, my own kind of stuff. I can actually use the stuff in the garage. I've lived here for two years and never been able to do it, if you can believe it. But in addition to that, this is stuff we gotta get rid of. This is stuff left behind by the previous owners. Paint cans with only a little bit of paint in them. So I have to open them up and dry them out so I can throw them out. Old fire extinguishers that I have to do research on how to dispose of them and these two waste basket things. I'm gonna probably have to chop up or something, I don't know. But the coolest thing is, I can finally use these storage lockers. Finally, they're emptied of all the shit that these previous owners had in them. And now we go to Sam's Club. Look, we bought in bulk, we buy things like paper towels, things like paper plates and stuff. We put them at the bottom there. We've got, you know, a yard hose, some Italian ices we just bought at Sam's Club last night we're gonna use for the summer. Some different, you know, holiday things we used to decorate outside. And we actually have somewhere to freaking put them now. I can't believe, you know, I've, again, two years I've lived here. I haven't been able to use anything in the garage because it was a mess. And my dad hooked me up, well, didn't really hook me up, he helped me out to clean it out. This is all the leftovers from the home improvements we did, up here anyway. That's our leftovers. This is leftovers from the previous owner. Left all kinds of paint, paint rollers and shit, and we didn't know. But we found that after we finished painting Leanna's office, we're like, well, if we're going to paint again, we'll use it. Can't, entire cans, unopened cans of white paint they left in here. 
So, whatever. But anyway, that's the kind of the paint slash chemical locker. And yeah, I mean, let's give you some perspective here. Now, how much space I now have in this garage versus when I was doing the green screen stuff, I couldn't even move over here. Because this was all like from here to here was just piles of shit. And I didn't have time to clean it up myself. You know, a day that I take, to take off to do that, I don't work, I don't make money, I can't support the business, right? So having the time off this week was great. Of course, here's the green screen, which I haven't used since the middle of uh, 2015, and you know why, with all the false copyright shit and stuff that went against me. I still leave it here because actually it's gonna be more, it's gonna be more difficult if I take it down and then rebuild it than if I just leave it here, because it's not hurting anything. These things were incredibly difficult to build, these uh, light boxes, and I really don't want to do them again, so I'm leaving them here for now. I mean, hey, fingers crossed, right? YouTube is changing. Maybe by the end of this year, they won't be able to fucking false flag me for fucking copyright shit and stuff anymore. Who knows, right? But anyway, that's the new improved garage. All right, so the last thing I'd actually like to show you, I'm not gonna make too much noise because sometimes our next door neighbor has a small dog that barks, and I don't want to get him barking and get all riled up here because I'm going out back. But uh, my parents helped us with the backyard. Take a look out here. So we actually had these plants already. They were already set up and growing here. But the problem was we had a ton of weeds that kept creeping through these stones that we have in the backyard here. And it was really annoying. And in addition, we had some stuff going on over here with weeding and all these plants. In fact, this, I didn't even know this because I usually don't come out here. This is more Leanna's thing. This shrub had overgrown into our exhaust. This is the exhaust for the fireplace. Now, right now, we're not using it. But if in the winter, if this thing was in there and we turned it on, the whole thing could have went on fire. My parents noticed that, thank God. So they came out here and they weeded. And they also bought this really heavy-duty uh, Roundup weed killer, which I didn't know what the good stuff was. They got it. They sprayed everything. They showed me how to use it. They said, you know, come out here you know, a couple times during the summer and spray all that stuff and make sure it's all dead. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, already, look, they already sprayed. And look, already there's sprouts. Look. That's a freaking new one. They just sprayed, and there's already a new one. <laughs> Unbelievable. So probably a couple times a month, I'll be out here spraying with the weed killer, but pretty nice. Take a look what they did. You know, they, they, we didn't have any of it. They bought us, you know, a few cheap things, and they were sitting out here all week doing stuff. You know, they were sitting out here. My mom smoked. She was having cigarettes out here. They were having drinks, which is funny because it rains a lot here in Washington. They just happened to be here at a time when it was, like, hot and sunny uh, for a few days. So... So that was nice of them. They cleaned a lot up. They helped us out. They taught me a lot of stuff about painting Leanna's office, about gar you know the garden out here. We're not really garden, but the stuff out here with the weeds, stuff that I don't know. You know, because I used to live with them. They did all of that. And then, you know, when I lived in the condo in Connecticut, didn't have a backyard. You know, I just had a back deck where I didn't have any of this. So I didn't have the knowledge to really, you know, know any of that kind of stuff. And it was awesome that they spent the time to come out. And, you know, I took the time off of work to, to uh, do stuff with them and learn all of that. So it was a pretty awesome week. So, you know, overall, outside of that, the house is the same pretty much. Um, the only other thing that we actually did was my giant Blu-ray collection, right? The only other thing that we did was that here in the living room, uh, I always at night, I always sit on this cushion of the sectional couch, always. And I kind of spread my legs out so it's relaxing, right? But what happened was this cushion, after two years of doing that every day, got flat. You know, because I'm sitting on it every day. Of course it's going to get flat. So what we did, my dad and I rotated. We lifted this cushion up onto the stair here, got it out of the way, pushed it back, rotated them around, and I cleaned, we cleaned all under the couch. And so now this cushion is actually what cushion was here, and it's never been used. I never sat there. I always sit here. So this cushion now is like sitting on a brand new couch, which is pretty awesome. Um... So overall, it was a good visit. I was happy to see my parents, you know, got to catch up with them a little bit, talk with them a little bit about stuff going on back home with other relatives and stuff. And we went to dinner a lot of times. If you didn't check it out, it's, uh, if you check out my Instagram, which is instagram.com forward slash they call me DSP, you can actually see a lot of pictures that I put up there uh, of the food and stuff that we ate. In fact, in my fridge right now, something we're going to eat later this week, we got leftover lasagna from my mom, if I can find it here. Leftover lasagna, 
two giant chunks. We got four more chunks frozen in the, in the refrigerator, or the freezer, that we're gonna thaw and eat later this month too. Oh man, it was a good, it was a good visit. I love when my mom visits because she always cooks too. She cooks good stuff that I'm not good at cooking. So that's it. A quick recap of the stuff that we did during the week when I was not around. Hope you enjoyed it.